Are you gonna put it on the thing? Oh, right. Do you think that's too high? Mm. You can always just set it up on my water or something. Oh, I could even use this. I'll just turn it. Here, hold it. I'll get the other tripod. It looks fine like that. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. Hello. Maybe use that tripod. Your Is it too low? Off. Okay, so I'll land the tripod. Oh boy, I thought I was all ready. Okay, is that any better? Yeah. <laughs> right. So this is our third Saturday Night Live. I don't think it's crooked. And because it gets dark at five o'clock, we're in the house. We got out some Christmas decorations today. Oh, I had a Christmas jacket on, but I took it off. Um, so between you know, cleaning, baking. Oh, Leo, Merry Christmas. That's very nice. Thank you. Hi, Vicky. Someone said you want Archie. Oh, Archie and a Piper underneath the table. A Piper underneath the table. Oh, is that going to be a problem? Oh, <laughs> Archie, come here. Archie. Come here. Um, someone said you will sing Silent Night. <laughs> oh. That's a tough one to sing, actually. Someone asked what's on your Christmas list. Oh, my Christmas yeah. list? Archie, come here. Come here. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Trust me, you do not want us singing. I have none of us can sing. Actually, they can probably sing a way a lot better than I can. <laughs> Hannah. Someone said sing Christmas carols. I am, uh, I'm bad. Here, Rue's gonna say hi. I was going to tell you a Christmas story. So at, so I was saying, like, we were cleaning. We did a little bit of shopping. Um, the baking was a joke. I haven't, I haven't done the baking yet. But um, as we were getting out this one Christmas tree, it has lights attached to it. I'm going to tell you a little story. We had a really nice Christmas tree that was the self-lit Christmas tree. This was probably, like, do you remember this? like 10 years ago yeah probably 10 years ago and um mike was doing me a favor because levi was allergic to real trees yeah we levi was younger and we had to get an artificial tree and so i was oh eva's birthday is three days after christmas so i was out shopping for eva's birthday gifts because if you wait till after christmas everything goes on sale so the things she wanted <laughs> would be marked on sale so I'm out shopping for her birthday and Mike did me a huge favor and um <clears throat> took down the Christmas tree and he's like the Christmas tree's in the box but the lights are beside it so I don't know what you want me to do with them and I'm like what and he's like 
the lights that are right there. I go, it's a self-lit tree. Like it had lights. What are you doing? He said, ah, that would explain why it was so hard to get them off. And he seriously like wrenched and, and pulled on them. And, ah. So I wanted to share that fun story. <laughs> Anything? So I have to put my glasses on to read comments. Someone said, Eva, do you want a car? Yeah. How many days left in school before Christmas break? Our Christmas break starts the 22nd, I think. Oh, okay, so Levi's birthday is December. We have a, two children with Christmas birthdays. Levi is December 22nd. Eva is December 28th. I don't know. We must have been pretty busy in March. Oh, thanks so much. I'm just reading some of the comments that are coming up. Um, I had to set up my computer next to it so you can probably see the reflection in my light and my glasses. Do you want in here, Hannah? Sure. Mm -hmm. So this bulletin board behind us, we hang our Christmas uh, cards. And um, Christmas cards was one of the one thing I really enjoyed doing. But... My family ruined that for me. No one wants to get together for a family Christmas picture. Actually, that's what I want for Christmas, a family Christmas picture, but it'll be too late to send Christmas cards. I haven't sent Christmas cards in five years. We got family pictures this summer. Last, I know, but your dad summer. doesn't want them put in a Christmas card. It's just not enjoyable. It's not enjoyable. People said they can't see me. Yeah, you're not even in it. Mom, you can move your chair over. It's okay. So, um, Hannah slash hairdresser, tonight, we could have done that on our live. Hannah's going to be doing my roots. <sighs> Can't wait. So, I didn't put a hat on because I've been wearing a hat for the last couple weeks hiding my dark gray roots. Mm. What else? I, can't, I feel like there's a joke going Someone on and I don't know what Hunter. it is. You know what? Hunter went and um, he's sleeping right now. He, uh, let's just say yesterday was not a good day. We can all agree. Mm -hmm. Hunter did not have a good day yesterday. Um, just was a bad, off day. And then today, he had a better day. And when the sun goes down, he just, he knows the rest of us. We're all like, you know, fading fast. So. Um, Josh said he's going to Pittsburgh next week for business. What's the best pizza place in Pittsburgh? Oh, you know what? We don't eat down in the city very often, but um, Josh, can you, you're going to have to message us. We can send you. You know what? Where are you coming from? Where is he from, did he say? He didn't say. So, funny story. So, Permani Brothers is a big Pittsburgh restaurant. And um, anybody that comes is like, oh, you have to eat at Permani Kentucky. Brothers. Oh, Josh, you're from Kentucky. Oh, perfect. You can try Permani Brothers. They actually have good food. But they're known for these Permani Brothers sandwiches. And um, Mike and I, we're not fans. Did you have them? Have you I had don't them? like sandwiches. They're, I like them. With, they have french fries on them. French, what kind? I haven't been there in a while, but... It is. Yeah. So it's it's a Pittsburgh staple. But if you're coming north of this city, there's um there's plenty of good foods. Someone said, Melissa, you look so young. If I didn't know better, I would think you were all sisters. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Thank you. He said he had it last time. <laughs> he didn't like it. Oh, okay. Did you? <laughs> so you've had for many brothers. Yeah. It's uh and like I said, it's a great restaurant. They have great food. They have great wings and they have great pizza. I'm just born and raised here. I just was never into the Permani Brothers. And we do put french fries on our salad. So <laughs> that's good. That's okay. But on a sandwich, I don't. And like Eva, I'm kind of just not that much of a sandwich lover. Guess what we had for dinner tonight? Have, you haven't eaten yet, have you? No, I didn't eat yet. What? We had cheeseburger soup. I want to tell everybody uh, a new adjustment I made to the cheeseburger soup. Oh, yeah, I 
Yeah. A Ritter bit will do said, what kind of vehicle does Eva want for Christmas? A Jeep. Do you really? I said, I've been saying that for months. We used in something crazy the other day. Well, a Lamborghini. Oh. I've always wanted a Lamborghini, but I know that's not happening, so a Jeep. No. Yeah, a Jeep's not happening either. <laughs> well, we have, well, I have one in the garage. Just have to learn to drive a stick. Mm. No, thanks. But the cheeseburger soup, the um, update is I used beef broth. And I think before I said I've mixed it, I would use half chicken broth, half beef beef broth. And um, this time I used, I just was going crazy. I used all beef broth. So if you're making the cheeseburger soup from my recipe, that was actually my first video, which remember that my first video published March 29th. And the pandemic started in what, March 13th? <laughs> Hello, everybody! Archie's here. What do you think, Arch? Yeah, so um, we're almost to 18,000 subscribers. Thanks so much, everyone that's subscribing and liking. And let's see, I have to put the glasses on. So the person that says I look like sister, we Archie, might want to take that comment back. Oh, a bad cat saying hi, Archie. Uh, Ritterbit will do. Said Jeeps are great. Learn to drive a stick. Archie, look at all your fans. Hello, everyone. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't usually sit on the chair. Okay. Just sit like this. Stop. Um, Josh Sporn sent a super chat. Aw, uh, Josh, thank you. You're the one coming to Pittsburgh. Thanks so much. He said it's a little dog food fun. <gasps> Archie! Maybe he can buy a bone for his siblings for Christmas. Archie, what do you want for Christmas? Someone, I think Archie wants Robert a bone. said Archie looks tired. Yeah, Archie's, Archie's like Hunter. When the sun goes down, everyone here, man. I think that, you know, a lot of people are given um, their opinions about daylight savings time and stop the daylight savings time and this and that. Um, I will say that if you work hard all summer, that, and look at it this way, the fall and winter months are time to hibernate, kind of, you know, catch up on the sleep you've been missing and if you follow the sun, go to bed when the sun goes down, get up. Dave wow. sent $50. Dave, you've, you've done that the last couple months. Archie. Merry Christmas. He said Merry Christmas to the Morgans from Michigan. Oh, you're blessings. so nice. Thank you so much. What are you all buying Mike for Christmas? We have no idea. He's so I, hard to buy for. He's, he can hear you. He's watching anyways. I've gotten everyone's gifts but his. Did you really? Are you done with your yeah. Christmas shopping? Someone said, ask your dad to pre-announce the live shows. See, the issue is, it'll be the day of, and she decides to do one. So. No, so far we've stuck to the first Saturday of every month. So we did, mm. what? Did we do September? No, October, November, and this summer. This is our third one. <laughs> and Dave, thanks so much. We, um... Because Dave sent the last one for mm -hmm. Dairy Queen, I think it was, when we were talking about the Dairy Queen. Out or something. Yeah. And so Eva, she has a memory like an elephant. She's like, oh, we probably should go use that now. <laughs> Any suggestions of what to get Mike Morgan for Christmas? Please read it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I guess he is. Have you guys talked to Buckin lately? Well, Mike talked briefly to Buckin. Um, Archie, can you lift your head up? Thanks, Mitchell. Merry Christmas to everyone. Is, are you all excited for Christmas? I'm excited. The older I get, the less stress about Christmas I get. And yet, the better. I think I've used my wisdom and experience from what I've learned over the years, from when my kids were younger, you know, trying to have everything ready for them, or, you know, it was always trying to um, balance your your finances, you know, and you listen, at least in my, our situation, it'd be like, 
you know, a friend saying, do you have your Christmas shopping done? And I'm like, well, I can't get start it until I get paid next week. <laughs> oh, someone sent $20 for Levi and Eva's birthday. Oh, Trina and Mike, that's nice. Uh, thanks so much. I talked to them earlier. That was very nice. Thank you. I feel like I was telling, I was in the middle of telling the story. I can't remember. That'll give away my age for sure. Hannah's just sitting over there. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning because Hannah's. I'm right here. We put these chairs against the wall and thinking it would work better. Have you eaten any of the deer meat yet? Sure I had do. some towards Eva's deep fund. Bit will Is do. that John? Oh, John, <laughs> you know what? We were just talking about um, salsa the other day, John, and that salsa you made that you gave us on a trip. Oh, it was, it was good. so good. Thank you so much. Um, what's that about for CrossFit? We have not been. Will you all still go when the building's built? And then this oh, one? yeah. It's going to be my 16th birthday. Hunter's mm -hmm. sleeping. Archie's in my lap sleeping. I started talking about Christmas. So you guys ready for Christmas? And um, the past Christmases of like just trying to find out what's really important. And like I said, the older we get, you gain more wisdom, but you gain an understanding of what's really important. And it's, it's nicer as the kids get older um, of course, the things that they have on their Christmas list are more expensive of when they, instead of when they were like two years old. But I can also, we can sit down as a family and say, hey, like, you know, we do know this one family that needs this. And, and uh, in the past years, our family has pulled together to be able to get, you know, gift cards or money for other people. And even if it started small years and years ago, um, like I said, you gain wisdom and uh, knowledge of what's important and you're able to take what little bit you do have and pass it on and give it to someone else. Um. We, um, I can't, is there a question? Any questions? I guess I could have taken questions in advance. Someone mentioned that we should announce this ahead of time. Everyone's I think asking where Hannah is. Oh, she just won't move in. <laughs> I'm just right here. Why don't you go on the other side? Yeah. I'm holding Archie and he's behind. He's in the way. He's right over here. Favorite okay. Christmas movies. Christmas Vacation. Oh, Elf. Yeah. Elf. Christmas with the Christmas Cranks. Christmas Vacation. Oh, she watches Christmas with the Cranks. We watched that the other night. It's the only one on Netflix other than The Grinch. We like the... You know what we do with Christmas Eve? The family will probably be embarrassed, but Christmas Eve, we always read the Christmas story and out of the book of Luke. And um, when the kids were little, I could post pictures. So they would always dress up. I would have them dress up as Mary, Joseph. Um, in fact, Stanley, we had this picture the other day we were talking about. Stanley was baby Jesus in 2010. And um, Piper's crying. But um, that's one thing we do Christmas Eve. We visit with my parents on Christmas Day. We visit with my family. Um, my younger sister lives in Montana and my younger brother lives in Las Vegas. So we don't really see my siblings. My older brother passed away, but his, um, his wife has remarried. And then anyways, my nephew Brandon, we would see them on Christmas. We would have breakfast with them Christmas Day. That was always fun. But, um, my nephew Brandon, he's living in DC. Piper. <laughs> Do you usually have snow at Christmas time? The past few it's, Christmases we haven't had snow. It's a hit or miss. Yeah. I think the memorable ones are like, oh, we do, you, you know. Do you have your tree up? Mm. Well. I hope not. I hope not. Working on it. We have like a little scrawny tree and they were like, oh no, 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 it's artificial. And these two have said, no, we're not using that little scrawny tree. We're gonna get a real one. 
last couple of years, now that Levi's moved out, and uh, we have been getting a real one. Favorite 80s movie? Oh, favorite 80s movie. Well, um, I just watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, I was sick a couple of weeks ago, just in bed for a few days, and uh, I watched it, <laughs> and it was on like a repeat because I went to bed watching it, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and it was on again, and I'm like, is this not over yet? But I realized it just played through. Um, tell, tell John Ritter he's in trouble. Oh, John. He said, too Mike bad, said you're in trouble. Too bad those nice spruce trees aren't out front to hang lights on. I know! <laughs> Today, me and Hannah were looking for outside Christmas lights, and then we realized we had nothing to put them on. anything to hang them on. So sad. Piper. Yeah, John, I agree. <laughs> so where Mike built the building, I'm sure most of you are here because, you know, outdoors with the Morgans and then... You fell in love with Morgans off the leash, and here you are. Thank you very much. But so on Outdoors with the Morgans, Mike built a building, um, and it at the cost of taking out part of the fence and these beautiful pine trees. And um, thank you for the Piper. Up here. Oh, Piper. Here we go. <laughs> Goodness. Don't hurt your back. That was my phone. Look, Piper wants to say hello. Maybe she'll stop crying. Hello. Can you say hello to everyone? She's riding her tail. And Rue's under the table. <laughs> so, um, how about favorite um, Christmas hymns? Someone uh, said favorite dog. <laughs> oh. Um, I think Ruger. Your dog is Ruger? I told you that last night. He's the most well-behaved. I don't know. I don't have a favorite dog. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's obvious. I... Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop. You do. Hers is Archie. He, he just needs more attention, and I'm st we're still on training. <laughs> more attention? He has plenty. Piper? Someone said Silent Night. Oh, what is she night. doing? Favorite Christmas hymns? I asked for no, favorite I mean Piper. Christmas hymns. Um, Joy to the World. Um, oh, so as I was talking about Christmas Eve, and as we'd read the Christmas story, there would be certain hymns that we'd come, as we read the story, we'd come to, you know, a little town of Bethlehem and away in a manger and those. So we would sing them, <laughs> and uh, as the kids got older, they're like, hey, we don't mind dressing up and being Mary Joseph the Shepherds and so forth, but um, we're gonna have to find the hymns to play instead of sing them. <laughs> so we kind of are really thankful for technology and that you can just press, press play. What do you think, Piper? Another fun thing about Christmas, um, I don't know how the kids, what memories they'd share, but it's, uh, it's a big thing Christmas morning. I always take a picture of the kids when they wake up before they any, open any of their gifts. But then they sit down to open a gift and they wait for their dad to get the big garbage bag and shake it and collect the wrapping paper. <laughs> and then as soon as they're done opening the gifts before they needed anything that has uh, use of batteries or needed, needs assembled, they're like, okay, dad, when you're done burning the wrapping paper, <laughs> can you help me put this together? I guess I should be reading. Uh, someone, Jeff said, all my dogs are the favorite. What? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, so Boxing Day is the day after Christmas. Is that right? Am I right? We, we just know that it's Boxing Day. We have friends that celebrate it, the Johnsons. Um, so we personally don't do anything special other than Happy Boxing Day. We don't get the Christmas tree off our property usually. We might this year. There's a few um, I scoped out down at, um, towards Levi's property. 
Levi's house that um, we could take one of those trees. There, come this way. Someone said, do all Goldens have the same temperament? <laughs> well, for the most part, Stanley was probably, we had two Golden Retrievers. Jake and Lucas were our older Golden Retrievers. So like when Hannah was a baby growing up, um, Jake lived to be 16 years old and he was an amazing dog. And then Lucas, um, he died younger, he was like seven. But, um, <laughs> she can't get down. What? She uh, doesn't know how to. Oh, and we got Stanley, they're, seriously, I'm like, this is not, a, he's not acting like a golden retriever. And then before you know it, he trained us. But Stanley was one of a kind. Hey, old man Fred. He says, hi, Eva. <laughs> People are asking about my date. Thanks for that. Oh, how did Hannah's date go? Oh, yeah, so. It went well. Is that all you're going to let me say? <laughs> well, we weren't there, of course, but we met. We just read. We're addressing that right now. It went great. Mm -hmm. That's all that Does he know about the live? Is he on? I don't think so. Yeah. Mm. We like him. Just don't know him very well. Um, <laughs> he hasn't laughed at all my jokes. Not a lot. Not everyone does. That's I know. okay. I know. That, that's a good tell of character right there. If, you know, I'm cracking my one-liners and... My kids are rolling their eyes, and the new boyfriend's like, mm. I'm like, okay. Is Piper in the picture? Mm. She is. Yep. Is that Hunter? No. Oh. Um, I'm just reading comments. Okay. I know. Okay. I'm probably a little too close. Oh, so everybody... Yeah, like Josh says, everybody hits the thumbs up. What are we doing? There's only Hannah's on the side right? again. The bull won't stop asking. Melissa has a new boyfriend. Is that what it says? <laughs> Can anyone hear Piper breathing? Oh no, we're talking about Hannah. Hannah has a boyfriend. You can get down. Thank you. Ritterbit will do. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. My jokes are hilarious. I would rather much be complimented on my humor than most anything else. <coughs> she can't figure it out. You're fine. I think I'm funny. My dad's side of the family is hilarious. Um, my dad's very quiet and reserved. He's funny like, ha ha funny. But he had a brother, he passed away a few years ago, but his brother Dan was absolutely hilarious. If anyone knew Dan Flick, they knew the funny guy. He just, he could just roll things off like that. And it's true. It's true. Lean in. I didn't think I've ever met him. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I ever met him. Someone said I'm you camera didn't? shy. I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm not shy. I'm just not as loud as these two. She's not. Hannah is the last of my four children to laugh at my jokes. Okay. Um, what? Hannah and I are opposites. And it bothers you. <laughs> it does bother me. It makes her mad that I'm not exactly like her. It does. Well, I'm not mad. Like, just, I'm like, you know, you got to do something, like, make dinner or whatever. And I'm like, oh, what I would do is blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, good. Well, get out of my way because I'm making it. I'm doing it this way. I'm like, oh. Hannah was an excellent oh. child growing up. She raised herself, pretty much. We didn't have to ever tell Hannah to go do her homework. Um, in fact, if Hannah got caught doing something, like I asked you to pick the eggs or whatever, um, she punished herself. You're fine, you're right. I'm, I'm not gonna um, blah, 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 I won't play. Or, you know, she, I'm like, I didn't say that, but she Remember totally. The stop sign. Oh. <laughs> 
Wait, first of all, someone said I look older than you, so. <laughs> Thanks. That's so sweet. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me to do my homework either. No, I'm getting to you. I just started with Sarah because she's older. And she'll be moving out soon. Um, we don't know that for sure. Tell your dad wants us, you to tell the stop signs story. Okay, well, um, <laughs> this is good. Levi got pulled over, got a ticket, I think. And my dad was very upset. So, uh, I don't know how much longer after that I got pulled over. It was probably a year or so. <clears throat> but I was coming home from a friend's house Saturday morning, like 8 a.m., and I simply just missed a stop sign, didn't see it. It was a little tiny town. No one else was on the roads. I just didn't see the stop sign until I was, like, in the middle of the intersection. Anyways, got pulled over. Gave me a ticket for 170 bucks, I think. I'll never forget it because it was a lot of money that I had to pay. And I was scared of my dad because I saw him yell at Levi for his ticket. <laughs> so as soon as I pulled in the driveway, I was bawling. And I was like, I got a ticket. I'm so sorry. He thought he thought I was hurt He or thought something. she like ran over a dog or something. It was like... Wait, what happened? That's the only time I've ever been pulled over, and it wasn't for speeding. Yeah. Yeah. Eva has a story. This is the, this is the difference between... Are you going to embarrass me? Hannah no. and Eva. Um, Hannah was away at, like, overnight camp for a week, and while she was gone... It was a Travis. Our dog. Our, we had a golden retriever named Travis. Our older dog, Travis, passed away. And they told me not to tell Hannah. We, like, gather as a family, and we're like, okay, when Hannah comes home, you know, she was gone for, for the week, let's just bring her in, sit her down, and talk to her. And as soon as Hannah started walking up the deck, I ran outside, and I told her he died. Yeah. She's on the sidewalk. She's like, Hannah, Travis died. I'm like, what? <laughs> we just said we are going to bring her in and talk to her. Yeah. And then Hannah sat outside and cried. <laughs> so here's how I can compare. I can give you a glimpse of these kids. <laughs> Eva is a lot like Levi, which I know a lot of you don't know Levi very well because he's, you know, married, he's moved out. Um, he's a lot like me. He's a talker. Um, he, okay, so here's how I sum it up. Levi could go to Pittsburgh and come back on a two-hour trip, and I could say, how's your trip to Pittsburgh? And he would talk for two hours about his trip to Pittsburgh. Hannah could travel the world for two weeks and come home, and I'd say, Hannah, how is your trip around the world? Mm, fine. <laughs> Seriously. That's true. It's true. That's just it. That's how, that's that's how the true. kids are. And it drives me nuts. It does. I'm not I can go to the store, and I can seriously remember my kids saying to me when we were going to the store, okay, promise us that you're not going to talk to anyone. I'm like, oh, I can't promise that. <laughs> I can. Or I'd talk to people, and they're like, oh, is that someone you went to school with? I'm like, no. What made you think that? And they're like, well, you were telling stories of like when you were in third grade. I'm like, oh, psh. whatever. I just, I love to talk. Someone said I'm a lot like my dad. That's true. She doesn't think she is, though. She is. No, she started to get grips of that last night. Last night? <laughs> what? Well, we were talking about last night, remember? Me being my dad? Yeah. Okay. You are. She is. Hannah's a hard worker. When the kids were little, um, my grandparents had their farm, and they would go over and help Grandma and Pap weed the garden and do stuff on the farm because growing up, that's what I did, and it was just part of life. I have so many good memories of that. I went to pick up the kids after they spent the day. I think they even slept overnight, and I went to pick them up, and my Pap was heading on down to the barn, and I said to my Grandma, well, how are the kids? And she goes, well... You better hope that one there gets an office job. And she points to Levi, and I'm like, oh, why is that? She goes, he weeded a row and said he was going inside to watch a television program. She goes, now, Hannah, she's a worker. I'm like, hmm? great, thanks, Grandma. Someone said, Eva, is she going to talk about how great you are, too? We do plenty oh, yeah. of that around here. Give, <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's Hannah's humor. <laughs> yeah, Hannah's humor is when I get yelled at or something. Eva's the last child, if no one's noticed. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, I've talked about Hannah being a good kid, and we never had to tell her anything. And if we did say or correct her, she would punish herself. You don't have to tell me anything either. No, but we do have to punish you. Every so often. <laughs> Every so often. Not... Eva? Eva's mm-hmm. always been mature beyond her years. It's like, you know, mm-hmm. a four-year-old, and she acted more like an eight-year-old. Or, and she hung out with uh, her older siblings. With I remember the one time it was Hannah and Levi and, like, six of their friends. They were going away for, like, Memorial Day to, like, Moraine. And I had to go with them. <laughs> it was really? just me and all their friends. Oh, I think I do remember that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so she's always... You can squat the most. <sighs> and then me. Why is that funny? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, and then probably Eva. You're right. <sighs> I need to strengthen my legs. I just. Uh, can you do a prayer request for Dan Haley? A prayer request. Five families lost their homes in an apartment fire in his hometown. Please pray for them. Oh my, yes. Oh, how awful. <clears throat> yes, Danny, we will do that. We will show the tree, and someone else said show the tree. We will show our tree when it's... Actually, our actual tree. Our real tree, in our, um, and it's decorated. And not the little one. Okay, bad cats, you're the last baby child, yeah. They're, they are worn down, that's for sure. <laughs> Why is this so funny to you? <laughs> Keep in mind, Hunter will always live here. If anyone's sure. wondering who the least funny in the family is... It's Eva. It's <laughs> Anna. Actually, my parents always say I'm the funniest. She is. They never say that. They always say that. Dad, who's the funniest kid? Levi, Levi's a funny kid. Levi's you, the funniest. Yeah, Levi's, a, yeah, Levi's funny. Um, <laughs> Me and Levi have the same sense of humor. Yeah, my parents <laughs> and Levi do not have the same sense of humor because I can find something that Levi says funny and Mike does not. But Eva's a funny kid. Mm-hmm. And Eva's um, responsible. Not that Levi wasn't, but he got himself. No, I've had a few phone calls from his teachers over the years. Lyle asked if Eva travel outside the U.S. What was the question? She hasn't. Yeah, I did. I think well, not ever. Uh, oh, ever? Like any of us. I have not. I have only been to Canada. I think I told you Mike Morgan and I were married in Canada. Quebec's on my list of places I want to go, even though I already went there. But so during the pandemic, so the... Eva had to stand in the corner. Remember the little time? Oh yeah. So we have. We this... were talking about this the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's funny that all these things we're sharing. We just talked about it as a family. We have a little chair. It's a wooden chair. That um, we put Piper's bowl <laughs> on because the other two, um, Archie has Stanley's wooden stand for his dog bowl and Ruger has his which it helps them just not have to bend down so much to eat so Piper kind of wanted one so anyways we, she has this creation it's a wooden chair it's this big and it has a little seat right here so the the bowl goes there well when Ty plays he pushes is here and, and Ty pushes Piper's bowl onto the floor it makes a noise and you know he loves that it keeps him busy and then he sits in the chair so we were just talking. That was the timeout chair for like mm-hmm. up until like two years ago. She sat in that chair. It was and like four years ago. She was the one that was always um, in timeout and had something else to say. So the timer for her timeout would go up. Can we talk about the soap? Yeah, we talked about that the other day. As a Anytime any of us like talked back or anything, 
we would get a bar of soap put in our mouth. And the one time, Levi was home babysitting me. And it was just, like, me and Levi. And I guess I, like, yelled at him or something. Probably not. Levi just won the... <laughs> I think she said a bad word. No, I think you did, too. I think you said a bad word. <laughs> Anyways, instead of putting a bar of soap in my mouth, Levi stood there and squirted liquid soap in my mouth and he made me hold it in there. He wasn't sure soap. how the whole process went. and uh, So he just made me stand there with liquid soap in my mouth. Yeah. But Eva being Eva, she was like, that's fine. <laughs> People are saying they got soap, too. Oh, yeah, I've got soap. Vicky said she's traveled to 25 to 30 different countries for her prior job. Someone said I have Mona Lisa qualities. Does that mean that you just, like, sit there? You don't smile. <laughs> Is that what... You want to tell that? Mona Lisa didn't, did she? Nope. What else? Any, um, I think I've told on Outdoors with the Morgans several times about past Christmases. Um, my favorite memorable ones, I got Morgan Mindy's suspenders and roller skates. Someone asked what our dream jobs are. Actually, last night I put a list of, in my notes of jobs I want. Oh, yeah? Let's hear it. Yeah. Well, they're based on different majors. <laughs> okay. So this is the first time hearing it. There's a lot more than that, too. I think she wrote it down. A private investigator, a law clerk, a criminal investigator, <laughs> a corporate controller, financial planning and analysis manager, <laughs> finance director, um, a pharmacist, a physical therapist, an orthopedic physician, a psychiatrist and a chiropractor. Oh, I don't know. I always thought I'd like to be a psych, not a psychiatrist, a psychologist. Um, I think writing prescriptions for meds for a psychiatrist, that has to be a psychiatrist. That'd be tough. Eva, oh, I'm going to be honest. I can't go in the medical field. Eva, be an attorney than Sue Hanna. <laughs> <laughs> That's what someone said. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Hannah did her practicum for her major. Um, it's been over a year, right? Yeah, probably two yeah. years. Two years ago, she did her practicum at a um, home for uh, adult males, men that had schizophrenia. And she was very, very good at it. Um, she'd come home every night and like share stories with me and I'd be in tears 20 seconds into the story and, um, yeah. And Hannah was very, uh, I think you were very good at that. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Overall, she's had, um, an interest in, uh, mental illness, mm -hmm. schizophrenia. I just think it's so... Um, sad. I, I would struggle. Someone asked who pilots the drones in the videos. It's really good. Oh yeah, that's a good question. So Mike does. It's just, it has a, what's it called? Like a idle mode or? Yeah, he just sets hover. it up. Maybe it's a hover mode. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something that, um, someone asked about my last video when I was showing the signs that my friend Rachel made. Someone said, Eva, you know how YouTube recommends videos for you to watch? It suggested I watch videos of Chloe's gymnastics routine. She's really good. Mm, cool. Oh, she has a YouTube? Her gym might. Oh, yeah, okay. Why is she? Okay. Eva and Hannah said switch chairs. <laughs> no. We told her to move in. Scoot over, Hannah. 
I can't make my eyes cross-eyed. I've never made, been able to. This is when I, I try. Can. Am I doing it? Am I doing I've it? I've actually been having vision problems, so. Am I doing it? <laughs> well, your eyes are closed. Oh, they aren't. I can't see. Well, then tilt your head up. Am like I that. not? Huh. Oh. Okay, so someone asked about this. They said, why is November? Oh. <laughs> no, that's a terrible crush. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Morgan can juggle. I can juggle. Okay, so my grandma, <laughs> this was my grandma's. She said, she always called me Missy. Missy, you have this for 100 years. I'm like, how do you know? So you just switch it. So, <laughs> like, you find how many days. So December, and then you find the month. So you just constantly rotate it. So it actually did, the person said, why does November have 31 days when it really didn't have 31 days? But because I needed the, the numbers of the month. Are you still crossing your eyes? Because someone I... just said, stop it. <laughs> Unless they're done hearing I can about this. Only, this eye okay. can look, but this eye doesn't see the tip of my nose. Stop. Yeah, Hunter's sleeping, which that's going to be tough. That's going to mean um, in like four or five hours, he's going to be up. Who gets that shift, Mike? More than likely, Mike. You and Mike exchange gifts. Do you guys? That's a good question. I always get, <laughs> I've sold my hair to buy Mike a watch. You know those stories? <laughs> And then <laughs> I think dad gets you gifts. Do you get dad? <laughs> I don't remember the last time other than birthdays. I do. What, Mike, what are, I, I get you gifts, don't I? I think I'm the <laughs> gift. I wake up every day with a bow on my head. So. <laughs> Someone said, go wake up, Hunter. Oh, no way. But I will tell you this, if we cracked open a can of pop right now, it totally would wake him up. No joke, no joke. And I'm not even gonna do it because I'm just enjoying this. And uh, yeah. And after this live, Hannah does my roots. How's that go? Did you just? How's that go? <laughs> oh no, is Ty still worrying of me? You know what? He's turning a corner. Mike bought him a little Kubota excavator that's like, it's this big. Hannah, are you leaving? Oh. Um, and then, guess what? Piper he chewed it He loves the ex excavator. It's this big. It came in a box. He keeps it in the box like it's a little garage. He puts it back in the box. He loves it. And I hear uh, crunch, crunch, crunch. I'm holding Ty. I look down and Piper chewed the boom or what's it called the excavator bucket off oh. the excavator yeah she has a tendency yeah. to and, do stuff like and that and rue or rue uh archie would have been blamed for it but to answer that question yes ty's coming around oh, my elbow hurts from is that a real tree no that's just like a wallpaper thing this is actually wrapping paper <laughs> i just put this up here i thought it was a good idea it was supposed to be all like pretty and lighted like you'd see on these beautiful homes are you naturally blonde melissa no nope. but i've had blonde hair for a long time i changed my hair you know what i believe if you can change things in life for the better go for it and hair is one of them so piper wanted the attention piper does a lot of things like that for attention um she does it's not as bad as archie David is right. David said he works with special needs people. They are a challenge, but enjoyable. You know what? You're right. They are a challenge. Um, hey, Silky Steve. <coughs> yeah, I agree with Mike Morgan from Outdoors with the Morgans. We do want to thank everybody that has supported us and joined in. and um, It's just been amazing. It brightens my day. I think it helps each of us be better people don't you mm -hmm. i think so 
Oh, Lyle, did you see? So yeah, so Mike suggested, or I think I was the one in Mike and Outdoors with the Morgans, go watch Kate's video. Did you guys hear the exciting news? Yes. There's going to be another Morgan. Yeah, Kate's pregnant, so Levi and Kate are expecting. It'll be next summer. So we're pretty excited. That'll be, um, be exciting. We'll see. I think they find out in a couple weeks if it's a boy or girl. So you'll have to go to Tied Up with the Morgans. That's Kate and Levi's channel. And Tied is spelled like Ty, T-H-A-I hyphen D. And you will see it's Tied Up with Morgans and you will see her videos. She's been posting usually a lot of things she makes, like food videos. Um, it's kind of fun to uh, watch other people's videos. I watch mine and then I'm like, oh, I'll edit this one more time. Krista and... Novak. <gasps> you didn't tell me that awesome news. She Krista, didn't I didn't. Oh, Krista's my very good friend and she just said I didn't tell her the news. Oh, I'm going to have to make a Facebook post about that. Sorry, Krista. Maybe this one will like pap. Augie, that's funny. That's a good one. That's what we're hoping for. Oh, your toast. You said you love toast and you got all those recommendations. Yeah. I really haven't tried much. I, I'm picky. I... She is. Um, what, toast is one thing you'll Where try. did Hannah disappear to? Hannah's off eating dinner. <laughs> yeah, so I made my cheeseburger soup and... I haven't fl flown the drone. I have not either. Wayne says he has five great grandkids. Oh yeah? Oh wow, Wayne. That's exciting. Oh, Silky Steve asked how you're feeling. Mm, good. She gets headaches and Yeah. She has good days and bad days. Do you um? Do you want to tell them about your school? Mm. She doesn't like this. Not at all. Hybrid or what are they calling it? It's all online. Cohort. You just that was whenever we were half in school, half out. But now we're just all online. We have to join live stream calls every day for all of our classes for forty minutes. So. It's a challenge, and you know what? I believe it's a challenge for teachers. I, my heart goes out to all of you that are teachers. I did my classes um, out here yesterday. You oh, were able to yeah. listen to all of so, them. So, you know how I told you Hunter had a bad day? Oh, no, his bad day was two days ago. It was Friday, because I had tests that day. Yesterday was the bad day. No, she actually had to go out to the building <laughs> and stand in the cold and do her wine glass. Because I had to talk. <laughs> because, yeah. So Hunter had a bad day Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, um, it is what it is. It's, you know, she could have locked herself in the car. Why didn't you lock yourself in the car? Because it was in the garage. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Hunter just gets loud. I know um, I had made a post on Instagram and Facebook about, Eva doing her school at home and it's uh it gives Hunter and I an opportunity to drive around for a while and someone said just why can't she wear headphones and a microphone and I understand I think that's a great idea and it works for a family that is just well sitting around Hunter's room is right next to mine like our rooms are connected so but I think anyone understands that or can try to understand that Hunter's challenges are from him being frustrated or not being able to communicate, or maybe he's not feeling well. And then his only ways to express that are his behaviors, which are yelling, screaming, or jumping up and down. Now picture that coming from his 28 year old body 
and you know we're working really hard on okay you gotta you gotta calm down or you gotta quiet down because Eva's doing school and um so without making it sound like Hunter's this monster it's just really hard for him to express his wants and needs and for them to be conveyed or understood <laughs> yeah I, I told you that Krista you're gonna find Eva on your doorstep because there's days where I'm like oh, what are we gonna do but I might just start going to grandma. <laughs> <laughs> but she did go out in the building. In fact, her, her certain teachers will ask for the cameras to be on if they're doing their speaking parts. And, and that's understandable. Eva's, Eva's go good with that. Except she was standing out in the building that's not finished. And like there's the wood rafters. Yeah, there's, and I had to have my camera and cold on. And, <sighs> she yeah. asked us to turn our cameras on. And I forgot that the building's like not done and it's just like a ton of boards and everything from the inside. I don't know. I should check my email, see if I got an email from the teacher. <laughs> Danny said he's friend. Yeah, so Hunter gets loud and he it's just the way it goes. You see a lot of the happy, smiley hunter, which is, for the most part, the way it is. Mm -hmm. But there's times where, well, we all know in our own lives, we all have a bad day or we all have things that don't go the way we want them to go. So we can say, ugh, or complain, or this and that. Hunter's limited to his complaining is screaming or, or behaviors. Someone said, here we go, Steelers. The Steelers are currently 11-0. Can you believe it? Yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't think they've ever been doing that well. 1944 Chevy truck. What is, what's your name? I always just comment to 1944 Chevy truck. We'd love to, we'd love to meet all of our subscribers, but thank you very much. Um, Amy. Amy, thank you. You're always, um, you're always one of the people that have Someone kind said, supportive things to say. The Bills will beat the Steelers. Mm. Are the Bills good? Who's the best one at calming Hunter down? Me. Hunter loves being with me. Anytime it's just me and Hunter, like, in the house and everyone else is yes. outside. Yeah, so, okay. No. That's, there's two questions. <laughs> calming him down is one thing, but then... Who he likes the most. I will say I think he likes to be with Hannah the most. Mom! <laughs> well, and let's explain why. Because <laughs> she takes some places? Whoa. No. No. Yeah, the one day I was playing music and Hannah's like, can you stop? He doesn't like that because Hannah didn't like my music. <laughs> Here, like we just explained about Hannah earlier, she's not a talker. And she seriously could sit beside Hunter Anytime, like, for unlimited amount of time and not talk. Where Eva's more like, hey, Hunter, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. You want some? Want this? And he doesn't want like stop talking. Or, just music or, or yeah, or yeah, she's no. full of energy and whenever like you and dad are outside doing a video or something and Hannah's gone, it's just me and Hunter in the house, he's in the best mood ever. He goes to some <laughs> nap. <laughs> no. In the early days I make of food. Mike Morgan could tell this part of the story and the early days of making YouTube videos. What are you getting? <laughs> it would be Melissa, come get Hunter. Oh, no. Take him inside. I'm like, okay. Because yeah. he would be trying to do... I remember the one when... This was like when he was making like video number 15 or something. When he was taking that... The backstop to that wiffle, wiffle ball field. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the ones that... I actually starred in that one. I didn't have a speaking part, but I did have a part in the video. But then when he was talking, I had to take Hunter inside. And so we just like try sometimes. I just didn't know how it would work out, you know? Like as soon as. Um... Hunter loves Ty. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. I mean, they're like each other. Like if someone starts talking, Ty will like try and talk. Oh, over, or yeah. Like... He thinks that's a good thing. And we're like, stop it. So Hunter talks. Ty talks. I'm the best at not getting excited when Hunter's... Oh, my. Yeah. Mike Morgan can seriously 
be sitting next to Hunter in his truck or here at the house, wherever, Hunter's ready to blow a gasket. Mike, he'll take a phone call. Hello? Yeah, hey, how are you? Hey, Hunter, calm down. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, what? Uh, yeah, crazy. Said, how long has Hunter had autism? He was diagnosed November 29th of 1994. <clears throat> so he was two years old. And um, we started noticing it when he was like 18 months old. He quit talking. He talked he could say like at the end of a prayer he could say Jesus amen he could say Jake was our dog's name he could say juice he could say mom dad uh, thank you like uh, just you know baby words in the way he talked and then um, Levi and Hunter are 18 months apart and I was pregnant with Levi and had Levi and shortly after having Levi Hunter started to regress, and um, he started to flap his hands a lot. He quit talking, just started his humming noises that he makes now. He hummed quite a bit, and um, yeah. Hunter has noises that can uh, I don't like, and they're always like, what's the big deal? He's done it all of his life. Why aren't you used to it? And I said, that's just it. I've heard that negative tone, and it's just always kind of just been a ugh with me. How was Hunter after the day in the neighbor's pool? Oh my gosh. Where's your mate tonight, Eva? That Chloe. Chloe. We were supposed to hang out today. Didn't work out. Yep. We were going to make Christmas cookies. We'll have to do it next weekend. Maybe we'll do another live before Christmas. Someone said you Botox to her lips, Eva. <laughs> oh yeah? She has great lips, doesn't she? She doesn't Botox her lips. <laughs> no, I don't. No, she doesn't. But I should, actually. That's, that's a good idea. <laughs> like, um, the dad in Christmas with the cranks, he got a Botox <laughs> right before his cruise. No, Eva has a beautiful smile, great lips. There was another question. Oh, swimming in Hunter's... A day of Hunter swimming in the neighbor's pool. Oh, yeah, he comes home. He loves it. Relaxed, very calm can't wait to have a pool put in you know I take the wrap on Melissa wants a pool Melissa wants a pool but you know what I really want it for Hunter I think it would be very good for him Eva could be a model David um Testa I agree that I could be a model Oh, 1944 Chevy. No, I, Everyone that's says that. that I Eva like reminds me of the young Julia, Julia Roberts. Roberts. Yeah, you know who else? Eva's uh, CrossFit coach tells her she looks like Liv Taylor. Adam Fisher's coach. Mike Morgan could be a mop. I agree, Eva could be a well-grounded young lady. I'm trying to see Hannah's reaction to these comments. Yeah. Tell the story about Adam Fisher meeting Mark from Australia. Oh yeah, Mike's saying, so tell the story of Adam Fisher meeting um, Mark, Daniel. Mark Daniel from Australia. So Outdoors with the Morgans had a meet and greet at the um, Jeep Fest in June, like two years ago, was it? Yeah. Yeah. And um, Mark was in the States. They were living in New Jersey, I think. His, he's from Australia. He's, yeah, he's from Australia. He was living in New Jersey with his wife. She was here on some business, and he wanted to meet us, so he rented a car and drove, which is like six hours from New Jersey to Butler, which is where the Jeep Fest was and met us and it was so great but Adam was there and what was so great about meeting Adam and his wife um they brought me a gyro I said in the video if anyone <laughs> if anyone first person to show up with a gyro you know you get a prize and Adam had a gyro for me it was so great because I love gyros but um Adam and Mark have become friends so I see that they're friends on Facebook and Small world, pretty fun how uh, we all come together. 
And we met Snowman's brother at Jeep Right. And Snowman at Buckenstock. Yes, we met Snowman at Buckenstock. We met his brother at the Jeep Fest, which, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. We put all that together. Can't wait till we start doing that stuff again. I know, I can't wait. Mike actually just made a post on his personal um, Facebook page that he says, when this is all over, all of this going on with the pandemic, um, we're going to throw a huge... Fourth of July party, you know, and we're always big into throwing big Fourth of July parties, you know, fireworks, music, food, friends, family, freedom. We're all about that. Morgan stock. Yeah, we can, I like that. And um, he said there'll be a lot of uh, music, fun, food, hugging, kissing, shaking hands. It's uh, It's been a long time since we've had that. So, you know, people are commenting on Mike's status that he made and they were like, Wow, Mike, yeah, this is great. I'll be there. I commented, Mike, were you hacked? Like, <laughs> I think I'm funny. We know. <laughs> oh, Troy met us at the Kubota Open House? Yep. Yeah, yep. that's right. Troy. Yeah. Yep. Can Eva make yeah, sugar cookies? Uh, yeah. Troy, you had your son with you? I think so. No, I don't have Facebook. She said it's for old people. <laughs> I will never get Facebook. Yes, she will, because we are getting so swamped with messages and comments. <laughs> comments is one thing. Messages is just tough. It's, it's really tough. In fact, I just knocked out a couple hundred um, in the last couple of days. Someone said cute glasses, Melissa. Oh, thank you. I feel they make me old, look old. I appreciate that. But anyways, we need Eva's help. So I said to her, you're going to have to get on Facebook and help with these comments and messages. Kids don't join Facebook anymore. I know, Augie's right. <laughs> they don't. They don't. That's okay because I joined TikTok. And would Mike mind if I had him as a friend on there? Got any new jokes, Melissa? I did have a joke. Oh, well, did, um, it's a joke that I heard from a movie. Steph has the best smile ever. Yes, thank you, Ted. <laughs> 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 Old man Fred and I met in Pakistan. And then someone at Pakistan mentioned me in their video, and they said Mike Morgan and his wife Stephanie... I'm not Stephanie, so <laughs> that's where it stuck. That's my other wife. That's his other wife, yeah. But the only joke I thought of was like the one I heard in Zootopia. Which one? The camel one? Yeah. So Ty, our grandson Ty, loves the movie Zootopia. What do you call a three-humped camel? Wait to see if anyone gets it. Or if anyone saw Zootopia. Yeah, have any of you watched that? Hmm. Because of, wait. Um, mm, no one's answered yet. Zootopia. Okay. Zootopia is the name of the movie, but in that movie, they have to go to the DMV, and, and it's just animals in this movie. It's really cute. Um, Disney makes it, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, they get to the DMV, and the people working, everybody working at the DMV is a sloth. So it stresses me out, actually. Next, like everything's in super slow motion. And as he's waiting, he's like, it's kind of like me. I have this nervous thing. I just talk if I'm nervous. And so he's like, so you want to hear a joke? He goes, what do you call a three hump camel? Hmm. What do you call a three hump camel? Hmm. He's like pregnant. He's like, oh, you know, so anyways, I'm trying to do as fast as I can in a slow motion. And he turns to his coworker. Hey, I have a joke. What do you call a three? And it's still so slow, and it's just, ah. Uh, I find myself getting edgy. 
But that made me think of the scene from Taxi, Mike. Remember that? We laughed so hard. Remember the show Taxi? So um, the guy on there that was the drunk, Jim. Was his name Jim? Jimmy Nikowski. Jimmy Nikowski had to go take his driver's license to be a taxi driver. And they all went with him. And he's like filling it out. They're helping him fill out. And he had to sit down and take the test. And he was trying to get help because they weren't sure if he was going to pass his test. And he's like, psst. And he like gets his attention, the one that, that he got the guy's attention that had the feathered hair. I can't remember his name. And he turns back. He's like, yeah. He goes, hey, what do you do at a yellow light? And the guy's like, that he, the feathered hair guy turns and goes, slow down. So Jim, Jimmy goes, he's the reverend. That's right. I think someone commented that. And he goes, oh, okay. What do you do at a yellow light? So he just read the same question, but yellow. I mean, slower. So. <laughs> but the answer was slow down for anyone that didn't get that. Only because I'm, tell I'm bad at telling these stories. All right, I want everyone to know how much we appreciate you being here and um, click the thumbs up on this live video and be sure that you're subscribed because you'll get notifications and then I'll be also posting things on our community page that gives you updates of when we would be going live again or hopefully, I'm not sure, do you think we'll go live again before Christmas? Maybe we will. Maybe we could go live again before Christmas and I could show you our Christmas tree and um, yeah, I think the dogs are going to work on their Christmas video. I would love it to. It just is not going to work with just one of me and my family is going to tell me I'm crazy, but I'd love to do that thing where they dress up a dog like in a sweatshirt <laughs> and then they have their hands behind the dog and the dog is like, I just think Stuff like that's fun. I would love to do that. <laughs> See, she thinks I'm nuts and I need therapy, but my dogs are very good therapy. And thank you to all of you. There's three thumbs down on this. There's probably more. <laughs> Who thumbs down is this? All right. Any last minute questions? Well, we sure do appreciate you being here. We sure do appreciate you being a part of Outdoors with the Morgans as well as Morgans Off the Leash and the kind comments and support that you give um, our family. Anything? Hannah, anything? Yeah. And maybe if we do a live again before Christmas, uh, Hunter will be awake. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Thank you so much, everyone.